LED display technology is in a fascinating stage now. The evolution of display technology starting from the cathode ray tube is illustrated here. Obviously, the most modern display technology is OLED. Even though the OLED displays are superior, LED displays still hold a market share of around 40%. Scientists continue to make strides in improving LED technology, and soon it may once again become the king in the next few years. Let's dive into the video to understand how this display technology works and what the future holds. First, we'll begin with a small experiment. I have made a pixel here, obviously a really big pixel, with three LEDs, R, G and B. The cool thing about pixel technology is that you can achieve any output color you want just by controlling intensity of the input colors. For example, now you are seeing a light purple color. If I control one LED, that becomes white. If I control some other LED, the color becomes something else. This way you can achieve any color you want using the pixel technology. So if you take this pixel and reduce its size and replicate many such pixels over here, we are done with the LED technology. The quality of the image will improve if we reduce the size of each of the LEDs. However, this causes an issue. We cannot reduce the size of the LEDs after a certain limit due to manufacturing difficulty. To obtain a 4K quality image, the size required for the LED is approximately one-third of a millimeter, which is difficult to achieve. So, how can we overcome this problem? Instead of making extremely small RGB LEDs, we can use miniature color filters for the display and use normal-sized white LEDs as a backlight. However, this arrangement just produces a white color when the backlight is turned on, or a black color when the backlight is turned off. To produce different colors, we must be able to control the intensity of light for each color filter independently. This can be achieved by a clever arrangement of two polarizer sheets and a material that can change the optical angle. Before diving deeper into this new configuration, we must first cover some fundamental physics of light. The light has both electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other, and they are perpendicular to the direction that light travels. However, the electric field and magnetic fields are present in all directions. Here, we are showing only the electric field for simplicity. This kind of light is known as unpolarized light. When we pass this light through the vertically polarized sheet, the polarizer allows only the vertical components of the electrical fields and blocks all others. Now, let's focus on the light intensity controlling mechanism. When the backlight incident on a vertical polarizer, it will only allow the vertical component of light to pass, blocking out all other components. The role of the angle rotation sheet now comes into play. It's the size of a subpixel. When we give a rotate signal to this sheet, it will rotate the vertically polarized light to the angle we want. If this angle of rotation is 90 degrees, the next polarizer layer, the horizontal polarizer, will allow the light to pass through completely. If we rotate the light less than 90 degrees, the horizontal polarizer will block out some of the light and the intensity of the subpixel will be reduced. If the angle of rotation is 0 degrees, obviously the whole light will be blocked. This is the way we control each subpixel's light intensity. Using three such units, we can construct a pixel. Now we can obtain any color pixel simply by varying the angle of light rotation. For example, to get a cyan color, we simply need to block the red filter light. Similarly, to get a yellow color, we need to block the blue filter light. Using this clever arrangement, we can build an entire display system. This is the basic design behind an LED TV. The only question which remains is in regard to this mysterious sheet. What is a practical way to achieve different angles of rotations for the polarized light? 
This is done by liquid crystals. Normally, liquid crystals are found in a twisted state and rotate the incoming light by 90 degrees. When we apply an electric field, the molecules untwist themselves and rotate the light accordingly. But what causes the light to rotate in the crystal? To understand this, let's consider linearly polarized light as equivalent to two circularly polarized lights. Let's call them clockwise and counterclockwise light according to their rotation. When they pass through twisted liquid crystals, they travel at different speeds relative to each other. One wave slows down as it passes through the twisted molecules. This differential speed causes a phase shift in the lights. Due to this phase shift, the resultant angle of output light is changed. This phase shift of light is determined by the degree to which crystal molecules are twisted. In an untwisted state, there is no phase shift because both light waves travel at the same speed inside the liquid crystals. This is the basic physics behind an LED display. Would you like to see the pixels of your monitor with the help of a cool experiment? Just purchase a simple macro lens. Attach the macro lens to the phone and keep it close to the monitor. The phone is struggling to focus. Voila! Now you can see many colored boxes. They are the subpixels of the display. You can also see the transition between the two colors. The magic played by the subpixels is clear here. The subpixels color intensity needed for the yellow is different from the gray color. Let's go back to our LED display design, which remains incomplete. Some pixels are brighter than others because the backlight LED arrays are providing uneven light. With the help of diffuser sheets, we can evenly spread the light. However, the diffuser sheet spreads light in all directions, which reduces brightness in the desired direction. To solve this issue, let's add a prism sheet in front of the diffuser sheet. The prism sheet concentrates light in a forward direction. This is the actual construction of the LED display. The LED TV we developed can reproduce the image almost perfectly. This artwork displayed is a good example. What if you could invest in such artworks? Now you can, thanks to a New York City-based tech startup. Masterworks, today's sponsor, enables investors to gain access to the high-end art market. Why art? Art has doubled S&P 500 returns over the last 25 years, showing even stronger performance when inflation is above 3% and during periods of economic turmoil. Masterworks analyzes millions of data points to identify which paintings could rise in value. Then, Masterworks acquires the painting and breaks it up into shares for you to invest in. And their track record speaks for itself. Since inception, they have returned 25% net IRR to investors from selling five paintings. As a result, demand is high. So there is a wait list, but by using my special link in the description, you can skip the line and join over half a million members on the platform. We're using more than decades old LED display technology. Still, there are some drawbacks. The main disadvantage is high power consumption. You can see here that in order to display a small white dot, the whole backlight has to be on. A second disadvantage is that color reproduction is not that accurate. A perfect black color is not possible due to the continuous backlight being on in the background. As we have seen at the beginning, the manufacturing of small LEDs is difficult, but not impossible. Scientists are trying to overcome those problems by developing new manufacturing methods. When the LED display is manufactured with minute LEDs, it's called a micro-LED. The micro-LED display technology will be superior to OLED technology. In OLED, the organic layer degrades with time, which causes pixel burn-in issues. Micro-LED displays are obviously more durable. The manufacturers are using a modular design approach for better manufacturing capabilities. Since micro-LEDs are inorganic in nature, they have a better brightness than organic technology. Currently, Samsung is the leading manufacturer of micro-LED displays. 
Before you leave, please don't forget to check out Masterworks, the sponsor of this video. Thank you.